your spare time, this is where you can find Flofina Modeste Morris. In the basement of her Jamaica Queens home, fixing sacred images like this statue of St. Joseph, which was outside the Church of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Ozone Park. I will clean it, I will see what I have to do, and after strip it, I, I will start to fix the little things, the little scratches, and in the end, paint, paint. It's a hobby that takes time. Flofina says it can take her anywhere from a week to a year for her to finish the pieces. But she's had years of experience. It has a wonderful expression. Her restoration work began about five years ago when her pastor at St. Pius V, Father Felix Sanchez, asked her to fix this Sacred Heart of Jesus statue. It lost most of its fingers. The Sacred Heart, you couldn't see the Sacred Heart. Father Felix knew Flofina had a background in art when she lived in Venezuela and trusted she could do it. While Flofina had never done the work before, she relied on her faith to get her through. Let me try. With God, all things are possible. She was testing every color, everything, and, and, and she was very delicate when she has to use the sandpaper. <laughs> Since then, Flofina has worked on so many statues, she's actually lost count. But what she'll always remember is the look on the faces of the parishioners who see her work for the first time. They say, oh, his eyes, oh, this statue, oh my God, I feel something. And I say, oh my goodness, uh, that means that I, I did it. I did it. <laughs> because Flofina understands these statues are more than art. The Art is the only thing that can tell us our story, you know, our story, the story, the story of the churches, the story of the parishioners. In Jamaica, Queens, Katie Vasquez, Currents News. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.